Welcome back everybody to part, uh, I think this is part 7. It's not actually part 9, like I said it would be at the end of the last episode. Obviously you guys know the issue that I had a couple of episodes ago. Uh, so this is actually part 7. And we are going to be beginning this episode off with the battle against Captain Gorbug. I think I actually pronounced his name as Gorberg at the end of the last one, so uh, just correcting myself here. Anyway, this should be a pretty quick one, as I'll show you here. They have two Snarga units, pretty easy to take care of. Go Heavy Goblin Halberd, probably going to use up a lot of my ammunition to take them down. Um, everything else uh, is sort of secondary. Put an end to this evil. So we're going to see how this turns out. Thank you very much for all your support and all your comments in the previous episode. You guys loved that battle, and I can't and I can completely understand why. Um, you know, four thousand orcs or four thousand three hundred and something. I think it was like that. Basically, four thousand orcs wiped out by two hundred elves. It was brilliant. So, right, okay. So they got a bit of a hill, unfortunately, which is not good for us. So let's move you over to that side, and you are on this side. You guys can stay in the middle. Put you on a little bit further back. All right, let's move up. Eldar volunteers. Right, so let's. Aim for the Heavy Goblin Halberd. Take care of, of as many of them as possible. We're actually going to take out a load of Mountain Orc Hunters at the same time, which is good. I'm actually going to pull my Eldar Volunteers further back, make them walk a greater distance. It means I get more time to shoot my arrows. Oh, they're actually having to run towards me now that I'm moving. <laughs> Damn it! Keep firing. Take those. Take out those heavy goblin halberds. Keep firing while you're doing it. While you're moving. Halberds are taking a lot of damage, thankfully. Charge into those stalkers soon. I'm gonna shoot some of these heavy goblin infantry as well. Keep shooting. So every time I move my guys, I'll put them into auto fire because, or fire at will mode. Sorry. Um, only because when I move them, if they're not in that, then they won't shoot at all. So. Also, another tip that somebody told me is to take them out of fire at will mode when I'm charging, um, because it may disrupt my cavalry's ability to charge, you know, get a decent charge in there. Let's hit the backs of these snaggers. Aha, they are diverting. Good thing I've got some... There we go. I was hoping that was the captain. Right, pull back. Fire at will as you retreat away. Brace yourselves. Nice, right, pull back a bit further, and then we'll charge in. Nice, okay, so they've hit our line there. Lost a elf over there. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Fire at 
Well, we await your command. With great speed. Shouldn't have much ammunition left. Right, now we can charge. Oh, I'm losing a few elves, actually. Right, run down those routers. I'm going to hit these snuggers here. Got you. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. That was the last one of those. Let's move over here. Wait, are they trying to withdraw? Some of their troops? Hoping these guys are going to rout in a second. Oh, there goes one of the bodyguards. Those guys are withdrawing, definitely. Alright, let's go stop them. Okay, they are withdrawing, definitely. Chase them down. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Twelve for twelve thirty-one. Let all who remember. Lovely. A good start to the episode. Set up an ambush. We the Camp sacked. Lovely. Stay in the Back to Dolbrin. Come, my brothers. Fantastic. Okay, so we're good. We're all good. Everything has something being built, correct? Except for Dolbrin, there's nothing to build there. Okay, this place doesn't have anything being built. So we'll build a Ballister Maker. And Austin Edhill does. Okay, so we're all good. Don't like the look of that. No more mercenaries out here, is there? No? Damn. Okay. Wait, did I move Glorfindel's army back in there? I don't remember. Don't know why I did that. But I've received a lot of uh, comments from you guys saying that, uh, that uh, Glorfindel is actually a really, really good general. So I'm hoping that we will, uh, that I can prove that correct. And that, uh, yeah. And that everything works out okay. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of moving around Goblin Town at the moment. I thought that army was actually going to move m closer into my territory, but it didn't, which is kind of surprising. Send an emissary to the Principality of Dol Amroth and I will receive money. Where is my... Oh, there it is. Oh, it's actually heading that way anyway. I love it when this game does that, when it says, oh, go and do this mission, and it turns out that's what you were doing in the first place. Alliance, map information. Oops, I don't want to make any demands of money. Let's do that. It's good to see we Boom. That seemed fruitful. Farewell. A little extra of 500 gold there for us. If I take 500 off my income, I'm making a little under 5,000. Yes, my lord. If only I could... Faction announcements, that's fine. Nothing there. No buildings constructed. Okay. 
Eldorinwe nobles. Apparently as well, this is um, just going to make another general, which I'm fine with. I am happy with that. Let's retrain you. So the enemy had an army nearby. I'm not going to be able to get any reinforcements there anytime soon. Uh, culture is at 20%. Leather worker. I could probably get rid of that and give, make create my own one. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? It probably has no impact on my culture at all, but hey, I'm going to do it anyway. Zagala still got mines being built. That's fine. And I can actually get some more Dunedain uh, wardens, I realized. So I'll get them as well. So I have one spy there and one spy there. Let's bring this spy back over here. Damn, okay. of course he's not going to spot him. He's hiding in the woods. So I want to take. I need to take care of the remnants of Angmar army that's hiding in my territory. I expect it's probably going to attack us in this turn flip. Mm -hmm. um, my phone is going off like crazy. So yeah, we can't. Yep, there it is. We must defend these lands. Here we go. Fifteen hundred. Orcs of Gundabad. Uh, Orcs of Angmar, not Gundabad. Got a couple of men in there, actually. Okay. It's against 200 elves. There's an actual family member as well. Is he. Like, he's just a general. Okay, I wondered if he was going to be like the faction heir or something. He's just a general. Foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Nah. It's no concern as long as they come down this middle road if the buildings stop disappearing. As long as they come down here, we'll be fine. Right. Let's get my generals out there. We'll just shoot at these cavalry for a moment. I know that my elves are spearmen, but if I can just get rid of some of these cavalry. Also, the enemy infantry is going to have to run through here, so I'll take out some of them as they run through. Oh, hello. Goblin trackers. Charge. Snaga archers over there. We're getting shot at. Doing a lot of damage. Taking some casualties. They got some more goblin trackers shooting at us. Okay, let's pull back. We're actually losing a few men there, oh dear. There's no charge in that. Damn. Are you still getting shot at? You are. Oh boy, we are getting slaughtered there. This is not going according to plan. Wow, I lost a lot of bodyguard there. Holy moly. 
Those trackers are dangerous. My elf, my elf uh, volunteers are holding the ground there. Damn, I lost way too many volunteers there. Uh, sorry, um, bodyguard, not volunteers. See if we can get a charge here against the general at an angle. See if we can run him down. Elf volunteers are still holding. There's the charge. I was wondering where it was. Didn't manage to kill him. I think we hit him. Yeah, he's injured. He's a bit bloodied, but he didn't. we didn't kill him. I lost one of my bodyguard men, though. The enemy are flanking my elves. No. This cannot be. Oh, man. They're getting shot. Right, we need to take care of that unit over here. as many of these guys as we can. Charge with the enemy general again. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This is not good. Why aren't... How are they still shooting? They're being attacked. Oh, they've blocked off our our retreat to the. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of in running in and out of the town now. Damn. Right. We need to take care of these archers, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing that. We can always pop back into the town centre afterwards. For a reason, my. Nobles are not charging. Why aren't you charging? Is it because you're right up against what would be a building if it wasn't invisible? Also, they are doing all right against my nobles. They are actually able to kill some of them, which is not good. I do not like that. Okay. Killed nearly half of them. I need to get my generals around there now to the town centre to cancel the clock. There we go, we cancelled the clock. Okay. That's fine. Oh god, we are taking some hits again. This is ridiculous. My goodness, my nobles are not doing very well here at all. Only half the enemy force remains. The volunteers are falling slowly. Our enemy has command of the city. That's fine, I don't care. Not right now anyway. It's orc halberdiers. I need to get rid of those 
goddamn archers. Because this is really starting to annoy me, these, these guys. Once again, for some reason, no charge. Come on, I'm keeping an eye on the clock as well. We need to kill the enemy general as soon as possible. Did not see that. Okay, their archers are pretty battered up now. Just get a general around there, go and cancel the clock again. Right, we're out of ammunition for this general. Ah, my volunteers are falling now. They're not going to last much longer. One of these snuggers retreating. It's the <laughs> unit commander. Where's the enemy general? Is he in this group up front? Yeah, he is. Right. Forward. Go through the town center. Okay, good. Right, let's form here. See if we can get a charge. We've managed to distract their halberds for a while. Right, charge into the back of these hillmen. Please actually do a charge. There we go. Okay. We've got a charge. It was alright actually, it wasn't too bad. And 41 elves, 41 um, volunteers anyway. Right. Charge again. There was a bit of a charge there at the end. Not quite the uh, explosive charge I was hoping for. Bottom line after this battle though, I think I'm probably going to have to send some reinforcements to protect this village. Take out those last few archers. Oh, the enemy general died. There's my charge in the background there. Hillmen are broken. They're all broken. Yes. Except for the uh, halberd ears, but... Oh, we just about managed to pull out of that one. Whew. The new um, Elder Inway general I've built in Imladris, I'll probably send him to this village. Maybe with a couple of units to defend it. Good thing we don't have to retrain any, uh, our general's bodyguards. Right, let's bring our elves over here. Put enough distance between us and the halberdiers so that we can actually do some charges if needed. 
Okay, so we're down to the last unit here. 131 halberds. Form up my cavalry behind these halberds. As soon as I can, I'm going to recruit some more of these mercenaries because they're pretty good. A charge there right at the end. That was not a charge at all. to be a bit distracted. Numbers are dropping. So are mine. The battle is very much in our favour. <gasps> That's one of my princes. Get out of there, you douche. Jesus. Talk about close call. Oh my god, I nearly lost one of the princes. No fault of mine, though. He nearly charged into the. He nearly tried to escape through the halberd. Okay. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I think I may have to pull my princes back to him there just to just replenish a what for a while. Okay, down to sixteen. in our favor. Victory will be ours. Why aren't they retreating, damn it? There we go. Now they're broken. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. The enemy are utterly Oh vanquished. my goodness, that was a close one. This is a great victory. Worthy of only the mightiest of generals. 129. Jesus, I lost the, most of my troops. That was a difficult one. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. So. <clears throat> you will ruin these trees no longer. Damn. I need to get some reinforcements up there quick. Take the settlement of Morvatarth. That's a bit of a while. Hey, Haladril. Yes, my lord. My lord. Elven warriors. I'm going to send you to garrison Dolbrin for us. Oh, they're generally down to six men left. Stay in the 
I'll keep our generals there. Let's get our stables. Okay. For the light! Swiftly! My lord. Approaching quietly. A lot of troops there. I'm gonna need more than just my two princes and some uh, and some volunteers. I'm gonna need a lot more than that to take that place. Noriturno cavalry. I can actually recruit those. Should I build that thing at Imladris or should I get something else? Ah, I'll build I'll build a cavalry. Build a stables. Three turns for the mines. Yes, my lord. Diplomats. So we've pretty much spoken to everyone in the south. I don't want to speak to Harrod. So let's head Without that question, way. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Okay. What I might do is if I send an army to take Morvatarth, I might go and take that fort first. Garrison that for a turn. Get some free upkeep, obviously. See if they actually attack me from there. Uh, I'll be interested to see if they would. I received a lot of messages telling me not to rush to Goblin Town. So, listening to your guys' advice, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to need to get there soon, but I'm not going to rush. Like the wind! Elves, we must give up the road. Okay, so we can get a baluster. Let's get a catapult maker as well. Why not? Dolbrin. I'm actually going to get rid of these guys. Simply because I don't think I'm going to be able to retrain them. And then maybe in a turn or two they might become available again as recruitable units. Hopefully. Okay, so Glorfindel. <coughs> Excuse me. 700 upkeep, oh my goodness. Let's not build them anytime soon. I'll probably send Glorfindel with Come, these guys. Elves. Two swords, a bow, Dunedain, Dunedain Cav. Put my two princes in that force. Maybe put uh, this arch unit in the force as well. So I've got two archers. So I'm building one there. I'll leave Elrond with the 18 men in the sword Quendi unit so that I can retrain them later. Okay. My lord. As you wish. Yes. Austin Edhill has roads, yay. Or Austin Ed Ethil. Apparently is is how it's pronounced. Austin Ethil Austin Ethil. Artist Studio that uh, I guess I could get another sp I could yeah, I could do with another spy, I guess. We'll get that. Gives me a spy slot, I think. Sire, scout the area. Stay by the Come, my brother. Stay in the trees. Stay in the trees. Right, Glorfindel Elves. and this army move out. Oops, I took Elves the eighteen. Elves. Oh, you idiot. Oh well. Elves. Come on. Ooh. Those will be trolls. There are too many. We'll need reinforcements. Yes, my lord. There we go. Seal our movements. Goddamn trolls. 
I had a feeling that was going to happen, but I sort of dismissed my gut feeling. That was a mistake. Okay. See, the other problem is that there's not a lot else I can do at the moment. I'm doing a lot of building. Mines will be done next turn. Um, but there's not really much else needed. Elven warriors. Let's take an archer unit back to Imladris. Be vigilant. Okay. So we'll just swap some... We're just moving some troops around for the moment. We're getting ready to move north. I should really go for Goblin Town first, to be honest. But Morvatarth has quite a large garrison as well. Hmm. What does Goblin Town even have? I don't even know. Not a full army at the moment anyway, but it's gonna have a it's gonna have a armoured garrison. Armoured defenders or something. I could attack that captain force outside, draw its ah oh, damn it, <laughs> it's moved. <laughs> Because I could have attacked that captain force outside and drawn the garrison army of Goblin Town out. And if I was able to wipe both forces out, I could have taken Goblin Town pretty pretty easily. Okay, not too bad. A couple of heavy units, but the rest are sort of standard. Not terrible. Let's get a practice range. Yes, my lord. Come on! Come, my brothers! Swiftly! By the light so we've got of armor upgrades as well. Like the wind! Right, Boris, princes. Come, my elves. Here. Ready, elves. By the light of Elbereth. Elves! I've only got one archer. Sire. Oh, yeah, I was bringing this elves. one over. Ha! Onward. There we go. Elves. In fact, let's put this one in that army and Swiftly. I'll move him up yes, my lord. Sire. to Dolbrin. So I've got two princes, Glorfindel. Follow me. Lovely. So we're getting ready for Goblin Town. I know I said earlier I'm not going to rush it, but I will need to take that very, very soon. So. Twenty-four. Turns for more archers from there. Damn it. How about here? One more turn. Okay, let's move this arch unit to Anon Enerod. I'll recruit a new one in Austin Ethil next turn. My lord. Let's get right up close to Goblin Town. And they'll have an armored armored defenders as well, probably. Which is a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance. I don't know what the extent of their armored defenders are going to be, though. Which is kind of why I was hoping that captain force was going to stay outside Goblin Town. Like I said, I can then attack the captain force, and the Goblin Town garrison would get drawn out, and big battle will ensue out in the playing fields. Playing fields? It's like a game. Ah, Captain. Yes. Captain Force, that's what I want. No, come back, Captain Force. Why you do this every time? Ah, uh, every time. Uh, they're probably heading towards Zagkala. By the looks of things. Stay in the trees. Edoras has fallen already. Your orders. Successful invasion. Oh, that's why. I completely forgot there was an invasion going on. I got a lot of money. About three and a half thousand or so income per turn. Let's send these archers back to Zag Color if those troops are heading this way. Hopefully I can get there in a in a turn. Yes, my lord. Onward. What do I get for taking over Tarth? Fifteen hundred gold. Yeah. Elves. Like the wind. No point building a watchtower, I got one right there. 
So they are down to not a lot, actually. Can get two Sword Quindy here. 21 more turns for Tolka's Faithful. Elves. Okay. Let's flip the turn again. An alliance and map information with Bree. Of we course. Cannot an honor and a pleasure. Farewell. That green area that's just lit up on the mini map there. I need to zoom in on the mini map a little bit actually. Captain. Yes! We have a captain. No! You're doing it again. <laughs> three times. <gasps> Why? The only... Uh, the only potential way I could do this is get my spy into Goblin Town and then attack, but... Uh, my that Lord. brings out Armored Defenders. Without I really don't want to fight against Armored Defenders. If I can help Tomorrow's it. Journey planned out. Wow, loads of things are being built. Okay. Farming 1300, mining 1900, trade 3600. Let's improve trade then a bit. A bit more. Exploit it. 7000. Let's save up for that. Let's get another spy. Shall I? Shan't I? Who knows? I'll get one at Imladris. Austin Ethel. What's your income like? Four from buildings, 704 from trade, 143 from taxes. Farms, 204 average. Let's exploit the trade again. And then I'll work on the farms afterwards. Now over here I haven't really got much of a choice, so I'll go for some farming. For the light! Perfect relations with the Shire. Shadow of Mordor, so so. Okay. By the light of Elvereth. I'm. Mm, I really want Elves. a captain force. Elven warriors, for the light. Come, my brothers. Yes, my lord. Elven warriors. Hmm. Elves. For the light, come on. Former. Chances of infiltration, 64%. That's not very high. All right, we'll do one more turn. We'll see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. The sacking of Goblin Town, I'm assuming, will probably give us quite a lot of money. And there'll be buildings in there that we don't need that we can demolish. So. Hmm. You disappeared. Where you go? Oh, you built some more troops, though. Damn you! Benefact. Ooh. And get a new general. Three and a half thousand. Except that takes me down to thirty-two hundred. Well, thirty-two fifty. That's all right. Thirty-two fifty-five. Whatever. So you are at Imladris. My lord. You are Sire. okay. I'm going to send him south. Follow me. Elves, to Austin Ethel. 
There's an army. Sire. Yes, my lord. Come, my brothers. Okay. My lord. Let's risk it. Okay, we made it. By the light of Elberith. Engage for the light. Onward. Take it for the elves. It's end drawn. Ah, we'll get a couple of battering rams. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. We can recruit some archers at Imladris. That's probably going to be worth it. Let's do it. Okay. 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 Here we go. Right. Turn flip happening very shortly. Yes, Diplomat as well. Yes. Let's wait. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Heading back so to our home territory. Here. Okay. Here we go. Are any troops going to return to help defend Goblin Town, or am I going to be good enough to go ahead and attack it myself without any worries of enemy reinforcements? Who knows? Do 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 do. do. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm really what I really want to see what they're going to do. I'm trembling with excitement. Oh, Captain Force, hello. You will ruin these trees hmm. no longer. Hmm. What's the Captain Force made up of? 1780. Quite a bit of heavy troops, actually. And then the garrison, mostly light. Okay, I can actually probably fight this. Thousand elves against. Was that two seven? Thirty one hundred. They outnumber me three to one. Oh, apparently the strength ratio is 2 to 1, but they outnumber me 3 to 1. But I have 4 cavalry units. 3 of them are generals. 2 of them are our princes, who are on gold chevron experience. Doing time cavalry on gold chevron with 2 archers. I reckon we could probably fight this, but I'm not going to be able to do it in this episode, unfortunately, guys. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Join me for part 8, where we'll be fighting in the open field against Captain Hagbug and High Chieftain Uglag. I've only just realised he was the factioner. <laughs> so, the no, faction leader, sorry. So, this battle will actually determine the fate of Goblin Town, which is going to be interesting. So, join me in the next episode.